The strange phenomena of poetry is that it could talk of fractured souls and wounded hearts, but its reading always heals the reader. A good poem is a paradox and a benediction. This is Sunil Bhandari and you are listening to Uncut Poetry. Gather me. I have to learn not to give myself such that I lose myself to the world. Gather me. I have my hands played out in the sun. The knife hits the spaces between the fingers and I wait for a mistake. Gather me. I have been told time and again that nothing goes waste and I let my pieces fall over landscapes which don't recognize me and I tell myself that I need to gather myself. Ask a person, they say, who doesn't have a mother, how to talk to a mother, for to know emptiness is to know what fills it. Gather me. I look out for her as a lone string looking for a symphony, or am I just a bird seeing a flare at midnight thinking it's dawn? I wish to gather her. It's time. Always time which stands against defeat, a bulwark against those who come as bullies but simper as beggars. I gather myself to leave. I would love to put myself together in ways to finally know who I am. Maybe I would love that stranger as would someone who likes broken things. I would like someone, anyone to gather me. I would like someone, anyone, to gather me. One of my life's ongoing struggles has been not to let myself dissipate such that little of me remains for me to enjoy myself. Even worse, as the pieces which the world loves of me gets grabbed and I stand helplessly as a bystander seeing the world take its fill and I know myself as empty, not even sure if I remain with my heart intact. Worse, we become strangers inside, trying to keep up with life's vicissitudes and changes. And then there is a moment when we see our face in the mirror and realize we know the lines but not the person within those lines. As life and people make their demands on us, it is up to us to see what part of our being and our time do we let go. For within the complexity of life lies the opportunity to find the simple ways of finding our own core. It could be with realization, it could be with the love of someone close. So much of our lives is a litany of breaking ourselves up for the world and then putting the broken pieces together for ourselves. We are lost children and found souls. In our brokenness, we seek someone or some way to complete ourselves and instead gravitate to what's also injured. So much of our lives is spent in reclaiming ourselves in ways beyond what we do what the world sees us do because this is mere mist behind which lies a person desperate to know herself. I have spent nights struggling to see myself beyond what I write, what I think, what I do and have asked myself if this is what I am, my definition or am I someone beyond something else? Who is the true person? Behind my laughter and irritations and gifts and words, what really defines me? And how do I even get to know that person? Because my thoughts are the offspring of the moment, my feelings are born of wounds, our objectives my true self. He's kind, they say. He's talented, funny, considerate, loving, insightful. But I know I'm also irascible, hard-headed, self-centered and blunt. What defines me then? Who am I? 
I know when I look at some people in my life, I know that beyond their proclivities and demands, they are often someone else, innocent to a fault, emotionally rich beyond age. And I love them for that intangible quality which they never overtly display but which I know defines them for me. What am I to such people? What is that essence beyond talent and my nature, that core which says, this is what you truly are when I think of you beyond everything else? I will sit down today and gather every little piece I can think of me. Try to put them together and then look behind them to see if there is someone or something beyond which exists, something which I can say is truly me. This is Sunil Bhandari and you are listening to Ankit Poetry. I have a fantastic newsletter called The Uncuts. It's a weekly dosage of culture, art, music, poetry. Please do subscribe to it. The link is in the notes. And if you love this episode, do share it with someone you love and follow Uncut Poetry on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Ghana, Jio Savano, wherever you get your podcasts from. See you next week.